What's up, folks? It's Paul and Kimani back again with another review. Uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, today I have, which just came in the mail, uh, a special item, a customized Leatherman uh, Surge that I ordered last week, and thankfully it's come. Uh, so I want to just go ahead and unbox it for you all. Um, I hope I'll like it because I added some custom designs, and I think it'll look really cool. Uh, so. It's because I wanted to upgrade the type of utility uh, tools that I have. And uh, in addition to my day job doing IT repair, um, I felt like I needed another customized tool that I can carry around other than a toolkit. So um, I'll go ahead and try to open this box. Um, there's a seal on it here, so I just went ahead and cut that tape. And I'll try to see how this opens. Which way it does, which way it goes. Looks like I pulled this side out like that. Okay. And here it is. From Leatherman, here's a shipping invoice. And there it is upside down. I guess I'll open it like this. Here's the carrying case. Here it goes, like that one actually. So I ordered uh, an extra black leather case. Um, that's uh, in addition to um, the synthetic uh, polymer case that you'll see in just a moment. So I'll put this on the side, just like that. No big deal. Then, uh, here it is. So it comes in this black and yellow box with the logo on there, with the rubber band. I was holding my black case. <clears throat> and let's see. It says, Leatherman, what is multi-purpose? We prepare people to solve problems for the expected and unexpected. This means equipping you with the highest quality set of tools in the easiest to carry form factor, allowing you to be ready for anything. Learn more at Leatherman.com. All right, that's pretty cool. And here it says uh, Leatherman Custom Shop on there. And as you can tell, it's Surge and uh, in color black with the black mole sheath, sheath. Or black mole sheath or mole sheath, however you pronounce that. And uh, they're based in Portland, Oregon, just like another company uh, who's based in Oregon who I just reviewed, uh, Coast Professional. So uh, clearly they have a lot of cool stuff going on in Oregon. So I've gone ahead and cut that tape. Then, I'll open the box like this, nothing left in there, just this, see this yellow um, section inside there, then there's a Leatherman pamphlet, and actually, um, let me just look for this real quick, it gives a description of all of the tools and how to use them, which is really awesome. Yeah. Just go ahead and show it off like that. Looking really nice. So much versatility. Um, so many different use cases and scenarios where this could be really nice. And then, <clears throat> here we have this. I really love this. This is really amazing. I'm totally glad I decided to customize it. I'll open it up like that. Let me set this all down. Here it is. Whew, has some heft to it. Really, really cool. On one side I have my name, Kimani. And on the other, I put a crocodile. And let's see how this comes apart. As I understand, open it up, you get pliers. Like that. Really cool. Pull both sides fixed. Then, you can open and close them like that. Nice. What else is there? There's a ruler, if you look at this side. Looks like wire cutters as well. Okay, go ahead, close that back up. I wonder, does I, do I just force it or do I press something? Hmm. Well, I just use my strength and close it like that. Then, there's ways I can press on the side here. Um, the other customization I did was to put a logo on the knife, and here it is. I don't know if you can tell, this right here does have a fire flame on there. Uh, a campfire uh, has special significance to me uh, because while in Maasai Mara, I went ahead and participated in the tradition of the Maasai to put some tattoos on my left arm, and uh, those were done with hot embers. 
So this actually is pretty similar, just fire to represent on the left side of the knife. So that's the special significance it has, and I thought that was a cool detail I wanted to put on there. And I'm really happy with this. Um, I'll find many, many scenarios where I could use all of this. Let's see. Safely put that back. And yeah, I, I definitely uh, want to explore more how I can do this. Here are a pair of scissors where I can use them to cut things like rope, twine, paper, packages, anything. Yeah, so um, I'll review the features. There are 21 total tools located right here. And um, lastly, before I forget, here is the mole or mole uh, sheath that it came with. And it can go in snugly like that and be tucked away. Really cool. And somehow there's this accessory. Let's set this down. Okay, some plastic packaging. It looks like another additional um, file. Yeah, this is definitely a file because it's like sandpaper on one side and then like a nail file on the other. So, uh, or a knife file. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> Overall, I'm really happy. Um, I would give this a solid 10 out of 10 because um, I'm really impressed with how great this is. Um, yeah, as I get more into crafts and trade and all of the things I'm doing, I think I'll find this will be inseparable from me. So, I want to say thanks so much. Uh, this has been Paulson K Money with another review. And um, thanks. If you like this, uh, please like and subscribe. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description to where you can pick one up for your own. And until next time, peace.